I'm Amadeo Paracenti. Uh, I am a cancer researcher with the Health Sciences North Research Institute in Sudbury, Ontario. I was originally from Sault Ste. Marie, um, and I expected that likely after my education that I would end up in a major city. The cancer centre here was recruiting cancer researchers, so I come to this interview in, in Sudbury and it's pretty much a brand spanking new lab with the latest uh, of equipment and uh, direct uh, access to patients. And I thought, wow, I, I think I could definitely uh, work here. A lot of people see often Sudbury, even a northern community, as a, as a good stepping stone, but I found it was better than a stepping stone. It, it's a great pioneering environment. The uh, RNA disruption discovery that he has done has led to the development of new diagnostic tools. There's tremendous toxicity associated with chemotherapy. Are we over-treating some patients? So I was diagnosed with breast cancer on June the 6th, 2013. I was 47 years old and I uh, had four chemotherapies and 30 radiations. I lost my hair 12 days after the first chemo. My fingernails were brittle and discolored. My third chemo, I felt like I was going into chemo jail. I was falling into a depression. I had such dry mouth, white tongue. All of these are the, the effects of treatment. So if you can minimize the amount of drug that a patient gets, if you stop at one cycle because there's no uh, evidence of benefit and you can rely on that diagnostic, then you can prevent that patient from a lot of the toxicity. So imagine if I only had to have one chemo and not four. The side effects would have been so much less. And that patient can move on earlier to potentially more beneficial treatments. We really have a, a new day in terms of approaches to cancer treatment. The main goal of the Cancer Centre is to lessen the burden of cancer on the community. And that includes making sure that our treatments are not a big part of the problem and a big part of the nastiness of that patient journey. The Northern Cancer Foundation has invested over a million dollars in Amadeo's research. We want to support research that helps patients and helps patients here in the North. His discovery is probably one of the most prominent biomedical commercialization opportunity that has emerged from Greater Sudbury. Uh, it's now the subject of global clinical trials. Research builds on previous research and we move forward generation after generation after generation. So one of our responsibilities as, as senior researchers is to build the next crop of researchers. He's an exceptional communicator, so colleagues and students love working with him. He exudes passion. I can go up to him with the research that I'm doing, with the, the results that I've just generated, that I'm excited about, and he will be just as excited. There is no better thing for our visitors, especially our young visitors, than to meet a real, engaging, exciting, inspiring scientist. One of the great examples of the engagement that we had with Amadeo was when we decided to do an immersive object theatre on genomics. With Club Genome, I think the secret ingredient to the success of that experience was that we realized that we had the perfect research scientist, the perfect person, not only to help us with the content of the show, but to be featured in the experience right across the street. At the Science Centre, you're introduced to this wonderful world of, of genomics. So we're looking forward uh, for our 35th anniversary year to working with Amadeo and his team, of course, to tell the story of human health. He's always looking to improve his research because eventually he can contribute to, to better patient care. He can, can contribute to a lot of things that can help people down the line. In Amadeo's case, it's not only pushing the boundaries of knowledge, but it's having an impact on patient care. It's just going to open up so many doors to alternatives and, and, and less extremes. The Northern Cancer Foundation's investments and early investments helped him lever other research money. He's the guy who's done all the collaborations and made all the contacts and brought it to where it is, and he deserves enormous credit for doing that. Uh, so he's really a trailblazer to show the powerful impact that health research can have. That's the magic of a research scientist that is so deeply committed to his work. 
So the relationship between Amadeo and his work and his team and Science North is incredibly valuable. He's a real team player, really um, contributes to the whole research institute and in wanting everybody to succeed. We were really blessed to have him here in Sudbury. Well-respected, um, dedicated, enthusiastic. That's deserving of an award. <laughs>